In a detailed joint statement, DIRCO and the security state agency said the alerts sent by the US, the UK and Australia are disingenuous and a cause for serious concern to the South African government which rejects attempts to influence, manipulate or control South Africa's counter-terrorism tactics. It's a statement that Derko spokesperson Clayson Ringella described as the strongest he's done in a while. He further tweeted that it was approved at the highest level. That tweet has since been deleted and who exactly sits at the highest level remains a mystery. However, the cabinet members who met here have effectively overturned that statement. Cabinet has instead endorsed this statement by the presidency which notes the security alert and reaffirms the strong cordial relationship between South Africa and America. The official government position was reiterated in a statement by the presidency yesterday and reaffirmed by cabinet today as I'm releasing a post-cabinet statement. So that's where the matter rests. I want to emphasize again the United States Embassy issued a statement, which I'm sure you have seen it, that reiterates the same sentiment about the cordial relations between the U.S. and the South African government. Khadeba would not be drawn into the security cluster meeting held after the cabinet meeting or the U.S. Embassy's confirmation that its terror alert remains in place. Meanwhile, Cabinet has given South Africa the go-ahead to enter into a reviewed extradition treaty with Botswana, where sentencing for some crimes include the death penalty. The Constitutional Court ruled that the South African government cannot extradite people to countries where a capital punishment can be executed unless there's an assurance from that uh, requesting state that even if capital punishment is the sentence, but it will not be carried out. Cabinet has also approved the quarterly release of the crime statistics. Aldrin St. Pierre, SABC News, Pretoria.